Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I have decided to film a declutter for you guys. If you guys are interested in this makeup look, by the way, uh, I have filmed it for you guys. I don't know if I've already posted it or if I will post it after this video, but like always, just go ahead, subscribe, click that notification bell so that you're notified and you'll be able to see when that video pops up. I do have some organization videos coming up, decoration videos, makeup tutorials, hauls galore. I have uh, maybe too many hauls actually coming up, but make sure to subscribe because you do not want to miss out. Trust me. Hopefully um, it is a productive declutter. I just felt like I need to declutter just a little bit more to kind of bring some, some peace, you know? inner peace. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be filming this declutter portion on my phone. So please let me know if the quality is good, bad, horrible. Let me know. All right, so I'm just going to start off with this first drawer. Let's see what we have here. Um, let's see, this one is the Ciate Everyday Coconut Setting Powder. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm. I like this, but the scent is a little strong for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, all right, starting off strong. Oh my gosh! I already have makeup on my floor. No. <laughs> Let's move on. I would actually like to get rid of some of these. To be honest. Oh, this one. This one I actually never use. I feel like it may come in handy. I don't know. I'll see if my sister wants it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I have to clean that. <laughs> but I'll see if my sister wants it. If not, I may just hold on to it. I don't know. This is going to go in the maybe pile. Okay, so I have a little palette that I can put these extra single things that I don't want. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Interesting. Okay. Um, oh boy, this is so hard, filming with one hand and trying to do this with the other. Ugh. So I got rid of pretty much everything, honestly. <laughs> uh, I just kept the banana powder from Ofra, but everything else I'm just gonna give away. Because I use, I don't really use single blushes and all that, so yeah. Um... I think it's time for me to get rid of Cover Tox 10. I've had this since the beginning of my channel. I think I got this just for my channel. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of this as well. I have a color corrector. This is the only one I have. So I'm just going to keep this because I don't have any other ones. Just in case. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah. This is the Pure Sculptor. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, oh, you can see me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I always forget about this, actually. This is actually really nice, too. Here. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. Let's move on to the next drawer. So far, not too bad. All the items are here. So, not bad. Okay, these are my highlighters. This one, I just got in. My BoxyCharm. And I haven't even used it yet, but I don't know swatched it and I wasn't a big fan. Some of these though are so hard to open. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. Just gonna get rid of this. This one is brand new. Um, I have so many of these as you can see. So many. So I am going to get rid of at least one or two. I'm gonna swatch these and then figure out which ones to get rid of. So I'm gonna put these aside. So I'm gonna get rid of this highlighter. Let's see. This one is by the Bomb Cosmetics with a tiny little highlighter. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And the, oh my gosh, Mary Lou Who. Actually, this one's actually really nice and this was like a huge deal back in the day, so I'm gonna keep it. What else? Oh, this is like a cushion highlight. I'm going to see if my sister wants it. If so, then I'm going to get rid of it. If not, then I'm going to keep it. These are the vintage highlights. This one I kind of use as like a blush topper. But probably 
going to pass on this. Let me see. This is another vintage trio. This one, yeah. Oh, wow. I used to travel with this all the time. Wow. These are, like, really pretty, though. Ooh, I think I'm going to keep this one. This one's really pretty, too, now that I swatched it. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. <sighs> okay, this is going to go in the maybe pile. Let me, let me think about it. All right, moving along quickly. Oh, this is a liquid highlight. I already have some liquid highlights that I like, so I think I'm going to pass this on. And this one I just got. And I guess it's like for the whole body. I, I don't know. I don't really like the sticky feel of it, but I feel like for summer, if you wear like shorts and or like a really cute dress, this would look really cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. Let's move on. Blushes. This one. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, uh, why is it so hard for me to get this stuff? Honestly, this one is brand new in the packaging. I think I swatched it actually. Oh, this is, yeah, this is what I swatched right before. It's like a lip balm and cheek duo. I don't know. Maybe I can do a summertime look on this. I'll ask again. I'll ask my sister if she wants it. If not, I'll keep it. Oh, bare minimum. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give this away. It's a really nice blush, but oh, this one's really pretty too. It's by Bang Beauty. I have so many different colors, but like sometimes you just don't know like what color you need, you know? And like, each one is different. This one's a loose blush by Studio Makeup. I don't think I've ever reached for this, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Um, I love tart blushes. Gonna keep those. Love these Milani rose blushes. I'm gonna keep those. This one is amazing too. I wear that all the time. This one by Note is so beautiful. That orange color. Very nice. Lychee and gold. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Balm Springs. That's a really pretty color too, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's just a really nice neutral blush so i'm gonna keep that one that is a really pretty like glowy blush yeah i think i'm gonna get rid of this one too what is it? oh wow i don't think i've ever used this one i think i'm gonna get rid of this as well it's brand new but it has of course one of my nails like dug into it <laughs> this one i don't know why it's so hard for me to get rid of it's like um, the blush that my husband picked out <laughs> when we first got married, I was like, can you help me pick out a blush? And he chose this one, which is like the brightest, like craziest blush I've ever had. Like, it, well, clearly it's like the brightest, but I don't know. I just can't get rid of that one. So I don't know yet. All right, moving on to bronzers. I don't have very money, but this one has been with me since the beginning of my channel, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I love both of these. Let's see. This one is glowy, very nice. This one's really nice. This is like one of the first things I've ever bought. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep all those. I don't have many bronzers, as you can see. All right, let's see. These are foundation samples. I'm gonna get rid of those. BB cream, I literally never wear. What is this? This is a primer, it shouldn't even be in this drawer, but I have better ones, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Even this one, I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, let's see what else. Okay, this is empty, so I'm gonna throw that away. Wow, this one's so old. This is like my first primer, <laughs> I think, that I bought. Oh, this one I do not like. This one. It kind of like balls up on my face and it's just, I don't know, I don't like it. This one also, not a big fan. This one I just used today, but mm, I don't know. I've had better. All right, this one, the spray stopped working. It's really pretty, but yeah, the spray is broken. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'll probably get rid of it. And this one, so liquid highlights that I mix in with my foundation. Gonna get rid of that one. 
This one's brand new, I'm gonna get rid of that. Love this primer though, wow. This is really nice, it smells really nice too. And this one is my tried and true, my favorite. This one, I don't even know how old this is. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Down to this one. This I tr tried out, I've only worn this once, which was the like for this makeup look. <laughs> but um, not too impressed. I'm gonna get rid of this one. These three I hold on purely because of the look of it. it looks, it's like, look at the packaging. It's so gorgeous, but the eyeshadows itself are not that great. But, ugh, I don't know, I just like displaying them. I want to put these on like my vanity. I think it'll look really pretty. Very mermaidy. These are all single shadows and... You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of all of them. Let's see... What is it? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That blue, though. Ooh, that looks so pretty. But everything else is like, meh. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This one I tried today, but I, I want to give it another shot. These are just so pretty and they swatch really nicely, but I don't know. They're just, they feel very buttery when you swatch them. But on the eyes today, I don't know if it was because I had another eyeshadow on the bottom. But I'm going to give this another shot. And I really like the packaging too. Oh, I love this for fall. This was like huge back in the day. Love it. Same thing with this one. Wet n Wild shadows are amazing, by the way. This one is one of the first eyeshadow palettes I've ever bought. But I think it's time to let it go. Yeah. This, wow, this is like a face palette. I don't even know what it's doing here. These are some pretty blushes. But I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this because I didn't even re remember that I had this. So, on to the next. Okay, Natasha Denona, I am gonna keep because I haven't even tried this one yet and this one is really pretty. Butter London, oh. Okay. Wow, really, really pretty, but I don't know, I feel like I have so many shades like this. This is gonna go in the maybe pile. This one is brand new, haven't used it yet, but I wanna give it a fair shot before I get rid of it. Um, so this is gonna be probably in the maybe pile. I really like the packaging. This one, Cab Cosmetics, I actually tried this out, but another nail dig, oh my gosh. Okay, but this one straight up reminds me of the Desert Dusk palette by Huda Beauty. It's like, they literally look so similar. Let me see if I can. Oh, there it is right there. I mean, what? Do they not look almost identical? Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to get rid of Cab Cosmetics. Even though it was pretty nice, I only used this one shade and like swatched a few. But Moon Dust, wow, Moon Dust looks really pretty though. Let's see. Let's swatch it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love these kind of shades. I'm gonna see if I have another shade like this. If not, I'm gonna keep it. But if I do, I'm gonna give this away. So maybe pile for that one. These shadows are amazing, especially for fall time. Like all you need is this, this little palette, pro to go, really nice. Okay, this one, this is a very basic palette, nothing that I haven't already seen. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh, these are so pretty. Wow. Do these not scream fall? Wow, so gorgeous. This is gonna go in the maybe, because I haven't used this in forever, but it's just so pretty. So maybe pile. Ace Beauty. Let's see. Oh. Wow. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow, my voice cracked. That's how pretty it is. All right. I think I'm going to keep this one. This one is really nice. I actually traveled with this and all I used was this for like the night out. And it's very nice, very easy, very cheap. So even if it breaks, I'm not worried about it. Very nice. I'm going to keep that one. Some precious. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this away. 
Celestial Thunder. These are really pretty shades, but I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever even used this one. Yeah, I've never even swatched these, so I'm gonna give, put this in the maybe pile, swatch it, see what I think. But wow, this one is really pretty though. Ooh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, my Anastasia palette and my Naked 3 palette. I'm gonna keep those. Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is so hard to open. I struggle. Okay. Reminds me of Urban Decay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this one away. Okay. This one is Hello Charmer. Ooh, okay, no, I'm keeping this. This is so, wow. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. Make sure they at least swatch well. And then I'm, I'm gonna keep them. These are really, really nice. They swatch very nicely. But I never wear them, so I'm gonna give this one too. This is my like custom Buxom palette. I always forget about this palette. Oh. I need to use this, so, which is why I'm decluttering as well, so I can see what I have, you know, keeping this one. And I have the Essentials 2 palette, Violet Boss, uh, I don't know, this is going to go in the maybe pile. Okay, so my phone stopped filming, I, I don't know why, uh, and I don't know how much I got, but I did end up getting rid of a few more not exactly sure where it cut off but this is where we are right now and I'm looking through this second to last drawer almost done let's see this one wow this one is really pretty though Ooh, I'm gonna keep this one um I'm of course keeping this one yes this is a face palette. I don't even know what it's doing down here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Wow, this looks super fall. Love the packaging. This is another face palette. What is it doing down here? I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I love that shade, but that's about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it for just one shade. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. Alemar Cosmetics. This is the Spanglish palette, really gorgeous. Keeping both of those. Oh my gosh, this one. I've had this for so long. Oh, my friend got this for me and I love it. It's from BH Cosmetics. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I should keep it because it was a gift. I'll ask my sister if she wants it. If not, I'm gonna keep it. So it's gonna go in the maybe pile. The electric palette, I'm gonna keep. These two, they're so similar and yet so different by Morphe. These are going to go in the maybe. Let's see, Essentials. Oh, this is Essentials 1. Ooh, that emerald shade. This is going to be in the maybe. So many in the maybe pile. This is not good. Okay. This one is really nice, actually. Very good quality, but I'm going to give this one. And this one. Oh, this was Kathleen Lights and Morphe. Oh, I like those green shades. And that mustard. Okay, this is going to go maybe. This is what I'm keeping. Again, not bad. I mean, I was expecting for me to not even want to get rid of even one, but... <laughs> Not bad. This is what we're getting rid of. This is the maybe pile. Moving on. Okay, that bottom one, the 88 color. Do you remember those from BH Cosmetics? This is the first palette I've ever bought with my own money. So I'm going to keep that one. And these are all my Morphe palettes. These are just, just good to have, you know? So I'm just going to keep those. Okay. All right. So, so far, this is what we have. Let's move on up to this section right here. I think I'm gonna have to pull this out. Okay, I'm gonna go through these really quick. Um, I don't have much memory left on my phone, so I'm just gonna go through these really quick and I'll show you everything that I decluttered. Alrighty, so I have decluttered as much as I could. 
Um, this is all the stuff that I am getting rid of. They're either old, don't work, or I just have like duplicates of them. So, so far so good. I put pretty much everything else in this box and I have yet to put all the palettes um, and everything. And I'm just gonna put it all in a box and then let my sister and my mom go through it, see what they like, and get rid of the rest. Alrighty, you guys, thank you for joining me on that declutter journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it also inspired you to get rid of some old makeup and just stuff that you don't use anymore. It just feels so much better when all that is just just gone. Anyways, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!